water bottles, piles of rain-soaked cardboard, and plastic buckets used as bathrooms. This is what now occupies what used to be Kmart property. And those nearby say it doesn't seem like anyone wants to address it. This is a problem brought to our attention during our search for solutions to the vacant storefronts now littering Northeast Ohio. News 5's Jordan Vandenberg live on Cleveland's west side to show us what they're dealing with. Well, we're behind the Kmart that used to be on 150th in Lorraine in the West Park neighborhood. And in case you need some wood to whittle or maybe a, a new tire for your truck or car, there's plenty of that. Now, if you follow this kind of beaten path to the back of the property, it's kind of where all the landscaping used to be, you'll find a whole lot more. It appears to be what is a homeless uh, camp, and there's a whole lot of trash. There's personal effects, there's debris, and there's a lot of other stuff that we really don't want to show you. Members of the local VFW that's next door, they say these issues and all of this mess has become an everyday occurrence. A VFW post is the kind of place where discipline and responsibility are as common as old glory. But it's those two things, discipline and responsibility, that Paul Weaver says you won't find next door. We're stuck. Nobody wants to answer the issue. Kmart went to the birds last year, closing its doors for good. And ever since, Weaver says the property has become a dumping ground. And that's not all. Weaver says the overgrown and untended landscaping has become a makeshift home for those without one. They bring their, some of their garbage over here. Uh, there's some things that's been left here that I really don't want to mention on a camera that are just disgusting. But yes, that. That is part of the problem also. The other part, Weaver says, is the safety for VFW members and staff who use the parking lot late at night. The parking lot is just feet away from the encampment. Being a VFW, a lot of our members are older, 70s, 80s even, and they bring their wives up here and they get scared when they see these people in the parking lot. A lot of these people could be vets and you know, we embrace the veterans, but we don't know them. And veterans are like the rest of the world. There are good vets, and there are some very bad vets out there. Folks of the VFW say this whole issue has been frustrating. They've been getting the runaround. They tried calling Kmart, and Kmart told them that it was the property owner's responsibility. So then the folks at the VFW post called the property owners and the property owners told them that it was Kmart's responsibility. This whole ordeal, they say, has been frustrating. And it's frustrating, Weaver says, because both companies are out of state and this property appears to be out of mind. Someone, Weaver says, needs to show discipline and take responsibility for the issue. Two things that the military taught him well. We're not going away. We own this property. It's ours. We've been here since the 50s, so we're staying. And we have not heard back from either Kmart or the New York-based co uh, company that owns this property. So what can be done? Say, for example, the city comes in and cleans all of this mess up. Well, what the city would do is the cost of doing so, they will put it as a lien on the property. So that will have to be paid eventually. Reporting live on the west side, Jordan Vandenberg, News 5.